Hello and welcome to your daily devotion for Tuesday, May 26, 2020. I want to talk just a little bit about prayer this morning and about three mistakes that people often make when they're praying, particularly when they're asking for something. Mistake number one is, I guess you call it the mistake of obedience. In other words, God, if you give me this thing that I want, I will stop doing this other thing. When this other thing is something you already know you should not be doing. It doesn't work like that. You don't get to set for God the base conditions of how you will do something that he expects of everyone. If other people can do this thing or not do this thing without receiving a favor from God, what makes you special? Mistake number two is what I call the trade-off. People try this one many times when someone close to them is facing something very difficult, particularly um, a big health scare. So it's like, God, please take the cancer away from this person and give it to me instead. Are you kidding? Do you think God has some kind of cancer quota? Do you think God demands that if one person's life is spared, someone else's must be sacrificed? That's not our God. That's a pagan God. It doesn't work like that. And the third one, I don't really know how to describe it, except many times people will say, God, if you give me this one thing that I want, then I will never ask you for anything again ever as long as I live, I promise. What are you, six years old? We speak of God as our Heavenly Father because that's what He is. But your earthly parents wouldn't fall for that and wouldn't expect you to keep it. And more to the point, God tells us to pray all times and in all circumstances. So when you say, give me this and I'll never ask for anything again, what you're really saying to God is, give me this and I'll stop praying. Why would God ever grant that prayer? Why would God ever give you what you wanted under those circumstances? Instead, when you pray, just ask for what you want. Don't bargain with obedience that you already owe to God. Don't bargain with a life that already belongs to God. And don't bargain by saying that if you get what you want, you'll never pray again. All three of these are going to fail. Just ask and understand that the answer to your prayer might be no or not yet. Those are valid answers as well. But you cannot manipulate God with any of those three things. They will never work. Today in our prayers, very quickly, we're just going to pray for the victims of COVID-19 and ask that uh, and ask that God's grace would pour down upon them. I'm sorry for not including anything else, but I have had so many problems this morning. This is like my 10th attempt to record this video. And so I just want to squeeze it in very quickly. Let us pray. God, be with all the victims of COVID-19, our healthcare workers and their families, and all the first responders, and give them safety from everything they can be kept safe from. We are grateful that there are people willing to do the difficult things, and we pray that we would all learn to stand with those who are sick. Teach us as well how to pray as we ought. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, thanks, everybody. Hopefully we won't have these same problems tomorrow, and I'll see you soon.